Hi you guys, so I'm back with another card share and this time I created a tent card and I had a lot of fun creating this card. I used a gorgeous girl stamp of course and I used the paper line from the songbird collection from Prima and I really love birds and butterflies and dragonflies and so you see a lot of that in my projects. And this paper line in particular I used it because in the background here you can see like the branches and it tied together very well with this stamp because it does look like she's swinging from a branch and she's outside and there's a bunch of beautiful little birds outside and flowers and leaves and so I love the way this came together. Now for the flowers here I used the Prima flowers and these were from the Fairy Bell collection and I think they were known, they're known as the Pearl BB or Bebe, however you want, want to pronounce it, but the colors work perfectly with that paper line. And so I also used some Wild Orchid Craft Flowers and I used the Cottage Rose here. And then down here and there I used the Sweetheart Blossoms. Now those I sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gangs, Nantucket Pearls, and I love those sprays. Those are my most favorite line from Lindy Stamp Gang. The colors are just amazing and I think I've been using them in every project. Now for the pearls here, I went with Prima of course, I love Prima pearls. And so this is from the E-Line collection and then so I added those on the, cor on the top corner here and on the bottom corner as well. And then for this flower I used one of the little pearl bling um, centers for that flower there. And for also these Martha Stewart uh, butterfly punch outs, I also did some of the Prima pearls there in the middle just because I wanted to add some more pearls to that side. Now this uh, flat back pearl trim I purchased from BD Bam Bam and I think they're an Etsy or a Zivit store. I will add the link below. And then on top here I punched out using the Martha Stewart um, border punches and I like the way that that looks there on the top. And then let's see here. These leaves are from Cherry Lynn Designs and those are the dyes. She's got amazing dyes and they just add that extra touch to your projects. And then for my gorgeous girl here, what I did is I paper pieced her dress and then also I cut out the little cat and I put it on top of her because I did want it to look like he was kind of, you know, sitting on her lap. So I used my Copics on the little cat there and I also did Copics on her leggings and her shoes and her skin of course and for her hair I also used my Copics now and you can't really tell but on her hands there I took advantage that you get to see her hands and so I added a little bit of pink there to the nails because I wanted it to look like she had nail polish on. And then for her little ribbons there and for her piggy tails, what I did is I used my acrylics from my 3D nail art kit and I just made little 3D uh, ribbon bows on her hair right there and I just wanted that to pop out. So I really love the way that looked. And then of course I used my Copics on her swing. Now. I love this one here because it does look like whenever you move this card, it does look like she's swinging and so I thought that was perfect. And now what I did also for the back, I was going to add a sentiment here on top and I think I still might um, add a Lily of the Valley sentiment once I get it in. A, a little small one here, they've got some great sen sentiment stats that I'm waiting for and so once I get those I'm going to add that to the top. Now for the back, as you can see here, I just, along this bottom, I put the Martha Stewart doily lace border punch here and I just glued it so that this is where I'm going to add my sentiment to the back of, you know, right here. And then on the back is where I'm going to write my little note. And you could just put that in there and you don't have to worry about it falling out. So I really, really love the way that I used the back of it and I just didn't leave it plain. Now the great thing about this tent card is that you can fold it flat so that you can ship it out and, you know, not ruin all the embellishments on it when you do ship it out. But this is my card, you guys. I loved it so much. I'm going to give you guys a little close-up. 
And those are the beautiful flowers from the Pearl Baby collection from Prima. And these are my sweetheart blossoms there. Love, love, love those. And the beautiful little punch out butterflies. I love pearls. I love using bling and pearls in my project. That's my gorgeous girl. And those are her little 3D bows in her hair. I don't know if you guys can see her little polish on her fingernails. <laughs> and then this is that side there. I am purchasing some more cards, uh, stamps that I'm waiting for. I'm going to be getting into some different stamps. I'm ordering from Lily of the Valley. I'm also ordering some of the Greening Farm stamps and a couple of different other ones. So I should be getting those within a week or so. And so I'm going to just, you know, try different stamps because I'm loving making cards. I'm having so much fun making them. So stay tuned for those project shares coming up. Thanks for watching.